Hello everybody. So this is for the Monday assignment for January 11th. And what you guys are going to do is you're going to graph both of these lines in order to find the answer where they touch. So again, it's solving a system graphically. So you're going to graph these two lines. And what you should notice is one of them is already in slope intercept form. The other one's in standard. So to graph the one that's in slope intercept, you identify the y-intercept first. So you go to negative 1. Then you identify the slope and graph that. The slope is 1. So up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, and so on. Or down 1, back 1, down 1, back 1, down 1, back 1, down 1, back 1. And there's your line. I'm going to hold off a second on drawing it because I don't want it to be too wonky. For the second one, that's in standard form, so you have to solve for y in order to graph it. That looks like another x. It's not another x. It's a plus sign. So you need to put it in slope-intercept form. And the first step that you always did was you got rid of the x's to the other side by either adding or subtracting them off. Okay. First thing, just like over there, is that you identify the y-intercept, which is negative 7. And then you have a slope of negative 2, which is down to right 1. Now, I can't go, so that it was down to right 1. I can't go anymore. So instead, put the negative on the bottom, up to back 1, up to back 1. And there's the coordinate where they're touching, right there. That coordinate is negative 2, negative 3. Okay, and again in delta math, it's going to draw the line for you, so you don't need to do so many points. I'm just, you only need to do one other point, do the slope, and it will automatically draw the line. Okay, I'm just doing it more because drawing my lines is apparently I'm challenged with that. You guys, if you can't laugh at yourself, who can you, right? Y-intercept is three. Uh, second step is identify the slope. So the y-intercept is three. Slope and negative a half, down one, right two, down one, right two, down one, right two, or up one, back two, up one, back two, up one, back two, up one, back two. Okay. So now I've got the 3x minus 2y is 10. So I'm going to subtract the 3x on both sides. Negative 2y is negative 3x plus 10. Then divide by negative 2 y is equal to 3 halves x minus 5. So negative 5, and the slope is 3 halves. So up 1, 2, 3, right 2. 1, 2, 3, right 2. So there's the coordinate that they touch. So that coordinate is 4, 1. Okay. That's the name of your assignment. Thank you guys for your time. Have yourself a great one.